Hello, my name is Shailendra Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to set up monitoring for Azure Kubernetes cluster using Azure Monitor. So let's start. For this video, I have created one more Kubernetes cluster, which is AKS Demo Cluster 1 to show how to set up the monitoring. I could have done the same thing in the AKS Demo Cluster, but because Azure monitors need at least few hours to make a proper graph or show the metric to us, otherwise it will be just a dot or a very small dash line shown in the graph. So let's go to AKS Demo Cluster 1. So right now all the settings are default in this cluster. So if we'll go to the monitoring section and go to the metrics, we can just see the standard container service metrics, which includes the cluster health and the CPU usage, millicores and the disk usage. As you can see the CPU usage, CPU percentage, usage percentage, it's only 5% utilized and the disk usage, memory usage, all these are the default metrics which are shown and will show the number of the pods and which are in the ready state. So these are the default metrics which are provided if you don't enable the container level monitoring, which is insights monitoring. So let's go to the inside. As you can see, it's prompting to enable the Azure monitoring for the containers. And we have to select the log analytics workspace for that. Same way, if we'll go to the alerts, there will not be any alert because we haven't created any rule. Diagnostic settings is for sending the data on the metrics to the storage account, event hub, log analytics, or any other solution. So we haven't enabled that too. And if we'll go to the logs, same we have to onboard this cluster to Azure Monitor. Workbook are the queries which we can run to gather the metrics or the logs. So this is also not enabled. So let's go to the insights and click enable. If you want to send the data to a specific log analytics, you can choose it here, but we don't have any another one. So we are using the default workspace and let's enable. It's very simple. Just click enable and it will be enabled. And as you can see, it's enabled. If you'll refresh, the data will come after some time. This is the reason I have already enabled this monitoring into AKS demo cluster. So if we'll go to the monitoring, and go to the insight. Now you can see a different dashboard where you can find the information for the cluster, different reports, nodes, controllers, and the containers. I'll show them one by one. So if we'll go to the cluster, we get the information on the CPU utilization, memory utilization, node count, and the pod count. And we can choose from average, minimum, from the different percentile. For the average, it pro provides the average value if you want to check the 99th percentile and the maximum, you can get those information too. Most of the time we use 95th percentile. The reason is because 95th percentile is more accurate and it excludes the sudden spikes, which happens really. Same with the node memory utilization. And this shows the number of nodes which are available. We have only a single node, so it's showing a single ready node. If it's not ready, you can start troubleshooting. What is the reason the node is not ready? And active pod count, the num there are 23 pods which are running. If the status is different, like unknown, succeeded or pending, then you can investigate. And you can choose from here, just if you just want to see the running nodes or the failed nodes. So this is the cluster dashboard. Now if we'll go to the reports, there are different reports which are available. Node monitoring, resource monitoring, billing, and networking. If we'll go to the disk capacity, it will show the metrics on the disk capacity. There are three disks which are available. And what's their size and what's the usage. And this shows the use disk percentage. And if you want to run any specific query on the disk usage percentage, Click on this and it will go to the log analytics where there is a pre-built query and you can make some changes based on your requirement. And when you run it, you get these three values. So this is a customizable query. You can copy it and run for any other cluster 
or you can make some changes on that particular disk or percentage and get those values now if we'll go back there are different monitoring if we'll check the deployment then it shows the different deployments which are available there are 13 healthy deployments like nginx is the one which i have created and if we'll go to the log analytics for this one same way a pre-built query is provided and you can make changes to this query let's pull out everything and just provide the nginx and run and this will only provide the information about the nginx this query helps in making the changes or filter down the values which you require and this really helps when you're troubleshooting any issue let's go back to aks demo cluster now the third one is the nodes here it will show all the nodes and the different processes which are running on the nodes so if you want to check the cpu utilization for all the process which are running here you can see all the different processes which are running here the processes means the different pods which are running and you can see the cpu utilization and the memory utilization and if you want to drill down you can go to that pod and check the utilization there if you'll click on the pod there is an option of the live logs and the live events so if there is something happening on the pod or you have made some changes then those will be visible here just for example if we'll go to the aks demo cluster for the whole cluster also you can see the events because these are the live events if something is happening then it will be visible here same with the live logs so the next one is controllers which is the different replica sets daemon sets and the deployments which are running so as you can see whenever a deployment is run it creates a replica set in the backend so if we'll go to the nginx you can see that replica set here and it's showing the cpu and the memory usage now there are two pods running here so if we'll select the deployment complete deployment and if we click on the live events we can see the events so let's generate some events open the cloud shell cloud shell is ready now so let's check the running pods so two nginx pods are running so let's scale this deployment and run three nginx pods kubectl scale replicas of three for the deployment which is nginx so it should be scaled now and let's check if three pods are running and as you can see three pods are running now and if you'll go to the events you can see the image was pulled and a new pod was created this happened in the replica set so if you'll refresh here you can see the third pod also now you can see all three pods are available here if you'll go to the container you can see all the different containers which are running on which pod they are running on which node they are running on because we have only a single node so it will show the same node for everyone so we can get this information if we'll go to the nginx and click here it will show the live logs live events for the pods and you can even go in the log analytics and run the query this is a pre-built query but you can also run the query and get the information and the reason why we didn't see anything is because there are no live logs or the events for now if we'll go back to the cluster there is one more option instead of just filtering the time range you can just check the live metrics click on this time interval is five seconds you can choose among different one and here you can see the node cpu utilization and the memory utilization so using the container insights azure monitor pulls the information from the metrics api in the aks cluster and provide the logs as well as all the metrics into the azure monitor dashboard 
So if we'll go to the metrics, you will see the standard metrics as well as the metrics for the pods and nodes. If we'll go to the node metrics and you can check, check the CPU utilization, memory utilization and the nodes count. There is only one node. So all this information which you are seeing in the insights can also be viewed in the metrics. Diagnostic settings. I have created a diagnostic settings where I'm sending the logs to the log analytics workspace. If we'll click here and you can provide any name, choose the log category and the metrics and send it to log analytics workspace, storage account, event hub or partner solution. That totally depends where you want to send the logs to. If we'll click on the logs, we are just checking the log analytics workspace. So instead of going to the service log analytics and then finding the AKS demo cluster there, we can directly check the logs for this. There are a lot of pre-built queries for the log analytics. If you want to check the container CPU, just run this. So you can get all those values. And maximum node disk, you have to double click on it. It will be visible here, then run, because it will be selected and you can run it, use percentage. And yes, you can see the use percentage. And you can even see the result in the tabular format which you can use to ingest it to any third party tool. And if we'll go to the workbooks, these are the pre-built queries. As you can see the node disk capacity query, node network, persistent volume details, kubelet details. So let's check the node disk capacity. And it shows the disk use percentage. I will go back or if we click on the workbooks, if you want to check something container inside usage, then you can check by the table, all the different usage, by the namespace, by log source, and by diagnostic master node. So using the workbooks, you get the information in the format you which you want, and you can even edit the workbook. What is the time range? Which information do you require? So you can add the different parameters and provide it here. So you can edit your workbooks and make your data visible as per your liking or the requirement. So now you can see all the logs, all the events and the metrics, but we can't always sit in front of the dashboard and check what's going on. So we want to be notified if there is some issue and for that we need alerts. So if we'll go to the insights, and click on recommended alerts. So these are few of the recommended alerts which we can use. If the average ready state of the pods is less than 80%, then we should be notified. Then this will automatically create an alert rule in the backend. So now in that alert rule, we don't have action group assigned. So let's create a new action group, AKS demo cluster, action group name, ready pod and we have to send the notification email notification I'll provide my email address here I'll provide my name next is action we don't want to trigger any action. However, you can choose whether an automation run book should run or any Azure function should be fixing anything. So let's create and create. So ready pod is created, apply to the rule. So if we'll go to the alerts and click on alert rules, you can see the rule created there and you can make the changes also. So instead of providing 80%, you can make it 5%. If anything is failing, you should be notified. Done, now it's 5% and save. So now the alert will be created if the pods are failing. So this is how there are, you can create different alert rules and you can even create the action groups so what are the action groups to be created, which we have recently created. When a new alert is created, you can see how many alert processing are being done. So 
right now it's none because we have just created the alert rule and there is no pod failing all the pods are in running state so to summarize this we have first enabled the container level insights in the azure kubernetes cluster we are we are sending the metrics as well as the log data to the log analytics using the metrics api and can also see the live events and the live logs for the different pods nodes or the containers along with that we can create the custom queries in the logs or the workbooks and get the required information so now we have the metrics as well as the logs available now to process this information in the back end we have created the different alert rules in group and if the pods are failing then alert processing will happen in the background and we'll be notified on the email which i have provided which is mine so this is how we can monitor the kubernetes cluster so that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much